Here's a uh, Coca Thrinax Montana that's growing in my collection and uh, I wanted to make a video about this because this is a, a worthy consideration for uh, Treasure Coast or Zone 9B Florida palm growing. Um, this Coca Thrinax Montana is uh, from a higher elevation in, in Hispaniola, hence the Montana. and. Uh, and therefore it is believed to be a little more cold tolerant than some of this, the, uh, I guess, sea level Coca Thrinax. And uh, that's proved itself. I've had this thing in the ground for probably, I want to say about 12 years. I bought it in the late 90s, or I hate saying this, the turn of the century, uh, <clears throat> at a palm sale down in Calusa Park down in West Palm Beach, or Boynton Beach more specifically. Uh, it's gotten through all the cold weather and done pretty well. Uh, it's never shown any kind of shock to the cold that we've had, but um, at the same time, you know, knock on wood, we haven't hit below 27 degrees, 26 degrees in quite a long time. So anyway, just wanted to show a quick example as I'm being scraped here uh, of the Coca Thrinax Montana. Again from Hispaniola. I love these nearly orbicular leaves, these completely uh, circular leaves. I think that's just a neat expression. So, anyway, good palm. Enough about it. Last look there.